just answering Claire Harper's um, comment relating to the cost of living and how it's relative um, to Spain or the UK or whatever, I agree with it because the thing is, what you have in Spain is a more um, basic or less cluttered lifestyle. Also, it's less consumer orientated. Um, but that lower wage and whatever that people have here isn't really affecting them in too much of a negative way because you get into the Spanish lifestyle. We don't see many new cars here uh, in La Mata, you know, um, unless they've come from the rest of Europe. Generally, people just run their cars so they, they're for the scrapyard. So then the people ain't buying in to keeping up with the Joneses. Um, but what they do buy into is good dress sense and they don't buy into the excess properties and stuff. You know, the, I don't know where to describe it. A lot of the furnitures and stuff don't really change. A lot of people are very simplistic in their, the way they live. Um, and I don't think that's a negative thing. I was sat here the other day thinking about because we've got about a two inch screen TV screen us um, an advert come on for media market I think they've got one for sale a 60 inch for about 400 and something I think oh that's cheap I should get one of them and then I sat there I think I don't even watch TV that much and I think that's the difference you know the the UK side is more like oh I'll have that and it's like with my work in the UK if you're using your car, it's actually written into your contract. It's got to be less than five years old. What difference does it make? It's all this fake front a lot of the time because, I mean, the, the people I know that are, say, the smartest dress, got the newest cars, and blah, they generally have the most debt. Um, that, that's reality. You know, it, it's all on the plastic. But... It's all in the plastic for people to be plastic. Um, in Spain, you don't really buy into it. I think people are happier, though, because they haven't bought into it. Because even though you may have less money here, you ask the majority of people, would they would they change it for going home, uh, back to the UK? Well, the answer is no. They're content here. Um, and I was watching that Bargain Brits, I know I bring it up a few times, if you YouTube it, you'll find it, and you can watch the episodes on, on YouTube. But you can see the people on there, and it's it sort of emphasises how happy people are, but also they're aware of what life was like back in the UK. Because um, a lot of them don't have a lot of money. Um, they're living in campsites now, the ones on the TV show. But at the same time, they're content, because they pay their bills, they're sitting in the sun, they're in an environment that's very friendly, they're not on their own, and it's just nice. And I think that's pretty much it overall. Because even, I mean, in the matter, it's a lot of apartments, but everybody knows us. You know, the, all the shops and everything else. And you're on a first name basis with pretty much everybody. And I think that's. That's what's different. You know, the, there is personality. There is um, a connection with the community. It's got a community that still exists. Um, would that be the same in other places? Well, I can only talk from the locations I've been to here, and everybody seems to be pretty well networked up with each other. Everybody seems to know everybody. Um, but when you look at, say, even Benidorm, which is heavily tour tourist-orientated, the people there are long-term, know everybody, each other. You know, there's a connection with everybody. And I think that's the positive things you do have, is the, the community is there. Um, which may not exist in the same way in the UK. Um, so I do agree with Claire. And I do agree that you may so it's, it's appear to have some sacrifices um, from the, the life in the UK to the life in Spain. But in all honesty, 
the positive sides outweigh the negative. Um, so there is no real downside. It's it's a nice nice way to live. You know, the sunlight, good food, nice environment, no pollution. Um, you still got bills to pay, but that that'd be anywhere in the world. The good thing is, though, you're enjoying life. You you're in a happier environment. I think that sums it up. Well, that's the one thing I can say about the Philippines. It also has the happier environment spirit. Um, I'd say Spain is Philippines 2.0. Um, but the Philippines could very easily be exactly the same in many ways, improving a lot of the stuff it does do. Um, you don't have the the volume of women that jump out at you trying to uh, ask you if you're available as you do in the Philippines in Spain. <laughs> but um, I'm happily married, so that doesn't matter. But everything else, I've got no complaints on whatsoever. Thanks for watching.